Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video, what we're gonna talk about are the tilts, okay? And the title of the video, it's called Forget About the Tilts and I'm going to show you why, okay? Because a lot of people, when you get set up, a lot of people are like, okay, we're gonna get set up and you know, we're gonna trigger like Hogan did. But then these tilts, they're like this. So these tilts create, wow, that's our good angle. This is tilting down. Have a relationship with the ball in the ground. But this tilt is causing all kinds of problems for a lot of people. And believe it or not, this is not what Hogan did. A lot of you are going to go, Chris, you're absolutely crazy. And that's fine by me. Okay. The reality is, watch this. If I get, if you can, there's two things we have to understand right now. Your shoulder, your trail shoulder can go up, it can go down, it can move, it can go this way, and it can go this way. The second it goes this way, which would be, there's your tilt, right? That's not what's going on because if I get tilted, I'm like this, nine times out of 10, People have this shoulder. If I was standing up straight, that's what it would look like. This shoulder would be higher. If we can now say this tilt is going to be eliminated, I'm going to show you why. You have to think about this a different way, an entirely different way. So what I want you to do is think, okay, because we know when we get set up, we've got our good posture, we pulled the string in the back, we've got the rifle pointed to where we want to go. So what this has done is created a tilt in my spine without me trying to manufacture the tilt. So now that I have this here, this left, this right shoulder is lower, the left shoulder is higher, but we're working on this angle instead of this angle. Hopefully that's going to make sense. So if this is where my spine is at, pure rotation around it is going to feel like this versus feeling like that. Okay. And there's a big reason for it because tilt, I'm going to show you something that's going to, you know, blow you away right now. No parlor tricks, no nothing. It's just a fact. Okay. So instead of me trying to get this tilt, what I'm going to feel from this perspective, because we've got our tilts that we've set in, we've got our rifle pointing where we want to go. Now watch what happens. I'm going to feel like this shoulder is going this way while this right shoulder is staying down. So it's going to feel like the left shoulder is going like this and I get to the top and it's, but what it's doing is it's allowing me to rotate around this position. So all of a sudden now I'm at the top. Okay, so I'm here and I'm right at the top just like this, but I have made no effort to move down into this tilt that everybody's talking about. Now, the right shoulder is going to stay down, the left shoulder is going to stay what I'm calling high, and now I'm turning around my tilted, which most people are going to call this, there's a primary tilt, there's your secondary tilt, but we're not getting into our secondary tilt this way. We're you know, pulling the string. Remember if you go back and see that video. So now I've got my second tilt set. So now I'm just going to feel like I'm rotating around that tilt and what you're going to see is going to blow your mind. So watch this guys. You just heard me say that I'm going to try to keep this right shoulder low and I'm going to try to keep this left shoulder high. So watch what happens. Do I have tilt in my golf swing? Yes. Did I try to create the tilt? No, because guess what? When I move around this secondary tilt in my golf swing, feeling like this right shoulder is down and this left shoulder has stayed high, what it's going to do from this perspective, it creates the tilt by itself, by itself. And now, because I, and I'll, I'll prove it to you, if I stand up straight, see how the right shoulder is lower and the left shoulder is high. So now all of a sudden, because I've worked around it like this, but even right there, it looks to you like I've got this tilt, but because it feels like, and I know this right shoulder is lower, which I just proved to you now, because the right shoulder is lower, it's easier for me 
to come into the ball instead of having this tilt where then I got to try to drop it and then have a low right shoulder to come into the ball. This is one of the most misunderstood things, in my opinion, in the golf swing. And like I said, you guys are going to go, Chris, that's nuts. Well, I'm telling you, there's no tilt. If you look at, uh, God, I forget what picture it's in in the book, but I'll bring it up on screen. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the little lines that are showing, you know, the how much the hip turns and how much Hogan turns. And then we've got the pictures of Hogan going through the sequence to get to the top of the backswing. Everybody looks at this picture and they think it is a two-dimensional thing. But actually what the truth is, Hogan's pictures of him with the drawings that Ravelli did, that's two-dimensional. Above it, that's got the little, you know, how the hip moves and how the shoulders move. That is from a superior view. It's not face on. Those little circles that are opening in 45 and 90s and showing it are from above. It's from above. It is not from this perspective. So when you can start to understand that, you're going to see, if you look at these images, just look at them. Hogan is not dropping down. He is going this way, which makes it look like this is turning level, but it's not level. It's the left shoulder goes high to right here. Watch what happens. So we get here in the takeaway. Because this felt like it was going high just to this point, now my shoulders are level. Now from here, it's going to feel like this left shoulder is coming into my spine. It's not taking me over here to the right. So now all of a sudden, it turns into the pec, to the spine. The right shoulder is going to stay low. But in real speed, it'll look like that, where Hogan's like right there, guys. And then from here, this is going to turn in more. That's going to be there. And I'm telling you right now, if I stand up, the right shoulder is lower. But if I'm at the top and I get here, it looks like I have a tilt. And now that I'm here, watch how easy. There's our rebalance move. Now the right shoulder is already low. So now the, scat, the back part of the right shoulder blade in some of the other videos that we've seen is going to come around. It's not me spinning out and all this crap that people talk about. It's here. Now, all of a sudden, there's my seeking balance, rebalance move. Now it's this. Now look at how in slow motion when I do this, this is coming around me because the right shoulder is low. So it's not going to go high, which is what causes people to come over the top. It's already preset being low. I'm turned in. I'm centered like a cat. I've rebalance, got my running start. Now because this is low, guess what happens? Look at that. Good leg work, good everything. Then all of a sudden I'm going to keep coming through. The right shoulder is low. Here's everything opening up to get onto the left. And then all of a sudden it's there and then explode up. Pretty simple. I, like I said, it's going to mess a lot of people up. They're going to go, Chris, you're crazy. But I'm telling you, right now, get set up in the way that we've been discussing it. Do your little triggers. Left shoulder high, right shoulder low. Lead shoulder high, trail shoulder low. Shoulders are square. Now from shoulders are square. So it's here, shoulders are square. Now we're just going to high, low, top. Now at the top, we know we've got tilt because of what I've already shown you, but I'm not having to manufacture this crap. Now I'm just going to come through. I'm just going to come through. And you are going to be surprised at how well your ball striking becomes. Because all of a sudden, look at this. If I'm here like this, and I know I've got the right shoulder lower, even though from the down the line perspective, it looks like the damn right shoulder is higher. Okay? But I'm telling you, from this angle, it's lower. So it's an illusion. Okay? But now that this right shoulder is lower, it's real easy for me to go this way. If it's lower, it's 
very uncomfortable to want to come over the top. So we get here and it's like, uh-huh, yep, now it's going to promote these wonderful feelings that we were able to feel in the rope drill. Rope drill. So if you haven't watched that video, go watch it. It's really going to help. Just remember, right shoulder, trail shoulder lower, left shoulder, lead shoulder high. Just depends on how you're doing it. And when you do it, you're going to start coming into the ball and you're going to be like, oh my God, look at how keeping this right shoulder low at the top is going to trigger this incredible rotational movement as you come all the way through the swing. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.